Hello builders, parents, and collectors. Welcome to another episode of Mock and Model Monday here at the Creation Evaluation Station. And on this episode, we are going to be evaluating this. It is, as you can see there, I just want to let new viewers know that I do in-depth reviews of models and construction sets, new and old, uh, mostly Lego, but other products as well. And I also do reviews and discussions of other creative works such as movies, video games, and animation. Because they are in-depth reviews, uh, they can be on the long side, so make sure you're checking out the timestamps embedded down here on this red line or in the description to help jump around to your favorite parts or to use as bookmarks to come back to at a later date when you have more time. Basically what it is, is a third party kit. It is a Gundam girl. So this is, because it's girl number one, it is the first um, um, kit in the set. And when I first ordered this, I was trying to track, find out if they had any other kits out. And at the time they did not, but just, I was looking up information on it now, trying to find out more information to, for this review. And I found out there is a, a second one either coming out or already out. And I guess it's based off from the uh, Deathscathe Hell. It's Weapons Girl number two. Um, they don't give them actual names. It is a third party, so they can't really use the name or they'll be, uh, you know, stepping on copyright laws. So yeah, this is a third party. I don't know what to expect. Never put anything um, from this company together. I don't know if they've made anything else besides these uh, Weapons Girls. It was originally 35 around $35, $40, which is not bad when you consider, like, uh, a lot of the other Mecha gr Musume girls are much more expensive. Like, uh, we're talking $50, $60 on up to almost to 100 even more if they're really large, have a lot of pieces to them. So this isn't a bad deal. What I could find out, it was released in 2019. Um, but take that with a grain of salt. I'm not sure if that's all. Um, so... Really not a lot of information on these, I'm sorry. But let's go open her up and see what's inside. I'm very curious with this one. Oh, let's see what's inside of this box. Very interesting box, kind of like a really large shoe box. And uh, funny enough, was not sealed whatsoever. So we got the instruction booklet here, which we'll look at first. Kind of put it on top when I was looking at it. It's all in black and white, except for some the red on the logo on the front. But yeah, even the, when you get back here to the pictures of the finished model, nothing but black, white, and grayscale. So, got quite a few pages in it. Now let's get to the bags of parts here. Got one there with three runners. So it looks like we got quite a few parts here. One, two, three. There's four runners in that one. Another four runners in there. We got three runners in that one. Hair pieces looks like. And one, two, three, four, four with a really small runner in there for. You know, beam parts. And really big runners here. Well, one big runner. The rest are small. So another four runners there. So quite a few parts in this. So, so let's open her up, check them out. So there are a lot of runners in here, so I am not going to go over everyone individually. We do have some duplicates, probably for left and right side. And uh, this is just first couple bags here we got more to go
So who's that Gundam girl? It's just Trey Red Frame. Yes, the future model weapons girl number one is based off from the Stray Red Frame and comes with all sorts of accessories. They're not attached and I'm not going to attach them to her because these are supposed to um, be able to attach to the real grade. And so that is why they're not attached to her plus things are a little, unfortunately a little bit more finicky than I'd like. I'd like to get done with this review sometime today. So if I put them on her, I'll be messing around with them and then I'll be having to switch to him, to the Gundam. These are not the only accessories. Um, there's also a stand that comes with it. Although you can see she stands on her own quite easily, but if you put these other, the backpacks on and stuff, although the arms aren't really backpacks. I, 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 Either way, if you put all this on, she's going to get top-heavy and definitely need that. But without it, she actually stands pretty good on her own. And we also have these other accessories. There were some arms as well that you can switch out for, for hers. And there are plenty of options for hands. And there's a couple options for face parts. There are two of these guns. She's holding one. The other one's there. The reason being is... Her other holding hand, unfortunately, I broke the wrist in. Thankfully, there were extra wrists. Um, and the reason why I broke the wrist is because I put it in backwards. Um, and for me to use this, I'm going to have to dig out that that uh, wrist piece out of there. Um, although, she does have the opposite in black as well. So, those can be used. Now, she's got multiple faces, like I showed already. Um, but the thing is with this, pulling apart the hair pieces and pulling apart the head is not the easiest thing to do. So I would make your decision before you got started. Um, yeah, let's uh, move them out of the way here. And those are not the only accessories she has. She has these two katana, one on each side of her backpack that I currently have on her. And as you pull them out, oop, I pulled the whole thing off. You get this nice long red katana blade. Not exactly appropriate for a, a stray red frame, but I think they look cool, kind of cool. You are probably going to want to glue them here um, to get them to stay permanently um, they do sheath but because they do kind of come loose from the the uh, hilt um, they do get stuck in there it's easy to take this apart and pull them back out but like I said if you put some glue on there you should be fine and that's the big thing with this whole entire kit is you're gonna want glue to glue some pieces a lot of the parts on to make it easy um, we're going to look at her, uh, flexibility and, and stuff and the joints here, but I am not going to move it around much because it needs glue. The biggest problem is this left hand over here. Um, the arm likes to pop right out of there. A little bit of glue, like I said, would work fine. Now, she's got plenty of room, rotation in the neck. There's a ball joint there. It's a little stiff. And like I said, I'm not going to move these around her around too much. Um, this this uh, V-fin up here, you're probably going to want to glue that into place because it likes to pop off pretty easy as well. And the same for these kind of shoulder pad pieces. They pop off. Now, there are ports here on the shoulder pads that are, aren't currently in use. And uh, she's got elbow joints. I'm not going to force right now because it doesn't want to... The joints are stiff on this. Um, got wrist movement, rotation. The upper torso moves. The lower torso moves. On the backpack here, which can be popped off. Although, these little red belts or whatever you want is actually attached to the backpack. So if you pull that off, you're going to pull that off. I definitely needed to clean this model up more. You can see all the seam lines. I was in a hurry to get it together. And uh, probably one thing. You want to take your time with this. You want to glue some of the stuff as you go. 
Um, these probably just need to be cleaned up. But then you have these these arms here, which I had the uh, scabbards for the swords attached to, and they are can be rotated. But as you can see, they do pop off as well. A lot of things like to pop off. These I wouldn't necessarily want to glue because they are able to be rotated. Um, but maybe you want to get them in a, one particular position and leave them there and then glue it on. There's other ports here. These are going to be for uh, putting on the, the other backpack stuff and etc. Now the hips work really nice and they also drop down in a really interesting different fashion than I've seen before. So you can um, bring them down if you need to spread them out more to do, you know, splits and things, depending on what kind of poses you want. There is a thigh swivel here. You got a knee bend. It's a, a double joint. The, uh, el or the armor kind of makes it uh, less poseable a little bit and uh, gets in the way. Then you got ankle rotation this way and front to back. Not so much side to side, but enough to get a good thing going on there. Here's another thing. Oh, actually, that's the first time I've had that fall off. Well, you don't want to glue that on, but I've had the knees come out a little easily. Um, oh, and there's one other thing right here, the tip of the knee. There's supposed to be a red part there for a uh, just uh, some armor that comes off for the kneecap and they don't like to stay in place so you might want to glue those on as well. Um, other than that, she looks pretty good. I like the face I gave her. As far as being a Gundam girl, like all she really has, you know, she's got the head fin going on there and then the lower arms and lower legs is really all that is representing the uh, the red frame and I wish they did a little bit more like in the torso area I mean I don't see any navy blue like the the, the uh, red frame has but yeah that would have been I think a little bit more could have been put in to represent the, the red frame on this other than the arms legs and the, the V fin and stuff like that um, it's not even the regular gun that <laughs> the red frame has now, looking onto these uh, accessories, the backpacks. The, the, the backpack here, the, the jetpack looks really good. Um, the only problems I had were some of the hinges here are real easy to pop off. And those that's not something you want to glue on um, because they won't move anymore. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of hinges here. And, and it's spiky. These things were really spiky and kind of a pain to put on. Um, there's a couple other things you want to glue probably these these uh, the white pieces here the thrusters or intake air intakes or something not so much of the bottom ones but these on top definitely um, if you press down they will pop out um, if you leave them alone they'll be okay um, these are all on different hinges you got these are primarily ones you want to, can move without too much trouble. Um, these open and close up, go up and down, and can rotate side to side. But like I said, they're the worst defenders for um, the things pop, the hinges coming loose. The lower ones move as well here. You can see that opening up like that, or closing up, I guess, because you're closing up the back part. <laughs> and then we have the arms, which is the primary thing I wanted out of this kit, and I'm very disappointed in because I had terrible problem putting these fingers together. For starters, the fingertips here, of the regular fingers, they got to be glued on. I have the white, there's white pieces that go on there, they look like the thumb here. Um, the thumb one actually clipped on these other ones no they need to be glued and I would suggest gluing these white pieces on as you go 
they will help hold the fingers together um, which is something I had a problem with which is one reason why it's missing a lot of fingers is the I kept losing the ball joints which I keep finding them so I may end up with a whole thing eventually um, but it, I didn't glue anything together because I was trying to get this done for this video and uh, this is supposed to be a snap kit um, we're gonna ch check it out on the real grade but we're not gonna be putting it on her um, I think this would look really good on her same with the, the other backpack but we are not going to be doing that now uh, for reasons I already mentioned. But you got some good joint movement here. It's got double joints there in the elbow. Uh, the wrist only go well, it rotates. It can rotate. So, but these are not ball joints. And what just fell off? Ah, okay. Some other pieces that might need to be glued on. Um, I don't know. Maybe the time I actually get it on the uh, red frame, they'll hold in place. And I'm not sure what all some of these pieces do. There's another piece that kind of needs to be glued on. Got a rotation here in the shoulder. And. Uh, I can go out to the side like so. Then you got the ankle or the knee or the, the elbow and the wrist joint there. And there's also a, some motion there. And there's a lot of other piece moving parts on here. And I'm yet to like I said I got to figure out how it connects to the Gundam, and we'll see what else it does. So that's it for accessories. I'm going to go get some comparison material before we start trying these on the real grade. The main attraction I actually considered this uh, kit to be, and that is the real grade is um, capable of using the arms and the backpack, which we'll see here in a moment. And uh, it looks pretty good. Um, obviously I like I said I had troubles with the fingers they need to be glued on the tips do the part separation here on the arm and everything this looks great the fingers will look great and are completely posable when you can get them all and there is a bit of a hinge here but the whole arm actually moves here at the up and down now it doesn't move front to back but it will move up and down um, at the actual hinge here um, yeah, I don't want to mess around with it too much. Um, it's got some thrusters in here and the shoulder pads, which, yes, the sword sheath fell down. That's typical. Um, but yeah, back here, we've got the, these shoulder pieces that actually help hold everything together and they, um, there is a joint to rotate on them too. Like I said, this... The whole shoulders will move up and down um, it's limited range it doesn't have a full I think 90 even full 90 degrees but it's enough to get some good poses out of now you can see here it's connected here in the back although this is really not super necessary but it is supposed to um, and then there's a hole here and that is where the backpack comes in Although I recommend, because this piece actually comes out, or at least has come out pretty easy. Yeah, nope, it's not going to for me now. Uh, but it has come out easily, and it's kind of easier to take that little piece out and put it on here and then slide it in. But this can go on here. It's on a hinge. There we go. We got it in. Now, as you can see, it extends off the back quite a bit. And he is not going to be able to stand normally um, with it. Now, these are on hinges here. You can kind of get them to go down, and he will kind of rest on them. So he can stand with the backpack if you 
don't mind having other parts touching. Of course, if you have the sword on, that can rest on the ground as well to give them another point of contact to hold them up. But other than that, you would definitely need a stand to hold this guy on. Uh, but yeah, he can have the whole kit and caboodle on there, the big arms and the backpack, so he can fly around and beat things up. Um, let's see if I pop this off real quick. There it goes. This also has a handle on it, so you could uh, fly around in his uh, normal mold and hold on to the handle. And just wanted to kind of showcase that. It folds back so you can get it out of the way, but yeah connects right there and you can connect this onto him without the big arms on there as well that this uh, connector goes into both both slots yes forgot when you put these arms on you got to take the old arms off so these will be left over including the little shoulder piece, and you'll need to take the back piece off here as well. So let's head back, give this overall kit a bit of a final eval and my overall thoughts. Okay, we're back here at the desk. Give this a final eval and my final thoughts. Finally, this has been a long project, annoying project. Um, not sure about other third-party uh, companies, but... Uh, this has definitely been different. My main reason for getting this was primarily these and the rock pack as well. And it'll probably be for you as well. The Gundam is not included. Um, but you'll want it to try to put it on your real grade red frame. Fortunately, I've had problems with the hands, which has not made me happy because like I said, this is the main point. If this thing just completely fell apart and this worked great, I would be probably happier than I am now. Um, that's being said, I will probably still continue to work on these arms and hands and stuff. It's basically the hands. Uh, my overall thoughts on this, you need a lot of glue. This is a snap belt kit, but it needs a lot of glue here there even on her um yeah, a little bit on the rack pack but definitely here with the hands and some of the other parts i ended up gluing the shoulders together just to make things easier um they will snap fit together i had it, everything put together and things just started falling apart and uh one thing led to another this is very much a hand grenade as they have heard the the, the name called uh, you start fixing one part and something else falls off. Uh, the thing about this, I was trying to get the arms on without using the shoulder pack thing. And the shoulder pack thing actually helps brace things and the arm, oh, it was, it was a mess. Uh, but I glued it on and it, it works fine and going forward it'll be better um, just that way. Because part of it, I was trying to get some of these inner parts on. And when you press just a little bit, the other part would fall off. The outside part, it was a headache. This has been a headache. And I've been trying to get the review done. I could have glued a lot more on it, um, but didn't want to because uh, that takes more time as well. I'm going back, I will probably fix this. So, main point is, this is not for beginners and not for people who just do snap fit. Um, you're going to want to learn to glue to do this. And, uh, yeah. So, moving on to the final evaluation. Overall, the appearance on this thing looks good. If I'd gotten these hands together, it would look amazing. The uh, part separation is really good on most of this. You wouldn't need to really paint anything. Um, the girl looks fairly good. Um, my only really qualms about her would be, I wish there was a little bit more red frame representation here on her, not just the arms and legs, but you know, more in the, the torso and, and upper, the whole upper body area. I mean, you got the, the V fin there, like, oh uh, yeah, that works. But, uh, other than that, it's, there's a little bit of red here and there, but it doesn't really look like 
a good representation except for the forearms and the lower legs. Yeah, now how poseable and stuff is, <sighs> there's plenty of posability. The problem is you don't want to play with it much and play, I say play, but these are not toys. You don't want to move them much because they'll fall apart without glue. And when things start, one thing falls off, then another thing's in, pretty soon you have the whole thing apart in pieces. It's very annoying. But there are plenty of joints and things move around here appropriately. All these hands on this guy are, the fingers are completely posable, fully posable. So you can come off with some nice poses there. Um, arms, joints, most of them, I don't think her upper arms have double joints, but his... Uh, the big arms on here do, um, double elbow joints, I should say. Um, the knees do, um, and the rocket pack has got a lot of joints on there, although you got to be careful with those joints. At first, it didn't seem like it was going to be hard to put together, and this is where it got confusing. I started with the girl, put the head together, I was like, oh, that was very simple. Started the body. That is a bit complex, but seemed to work together. It worked good. And the arms and legs, I had a little bit of problem. Just me, basically, there was some undergating and stuff. I had to make sure it got cleared off to get things to work right. And then the next day, like, I finished the girl, but then you have to remove some of the armor to put the, well, I didn't say armor, move some of the parts. Because she basically has black legs and black arms. Like, she's got gloves, long gloves and, and long boots or leggings on or whatever. And replace that with the Gundam looking parts. Well, I, I, I got this together the first day. I'm like, hey, this is pretty solid. I like this. Except for I had problems with the V-Fin. But then the next day, I go back and start taking the stuff off with the armor. And the thing just kind of explodes in my hand. And ugh, that's where things got to be a problem. So, and then I realized it really needs a lot of gluing and stuff for this. So that immediately takes the difficulty up a notch. And then just the problems with some of the parts fists. I still don't know what's going on with these hands why I can't keep the fingers in them. The difficulty is definitely on the harder side. This is not for beginners or people who just want to do a snap belt thing. Um, you're going to want to glue it and glue it while you... Put it together because it'll make it going together a lot easier now how these were designed now that that's an interesting thing well for one the girl i've only put the 30 minute sisters together and actually i have another one i'm putting together um on the side that's not a 30 minute sisters, it's a different brand but there are very similar builds for the torsos and how the hips work and stuff like that this one was quite a bit different and it was interesting and it almost feel like a simple Simple solution to the to, to, to the problem you need to, to do it. And I, I was kind of interested in that. Um, if it wasn't for all the other problems I had with it, uh, <laughs> it, it that would have been really interesting. Now, the arms, or yeah, the big arms and the booster pack, I, while well, trying to figure this out, because there's no instructions on how to put these arms on. You, I had to look online... Well, first I tried it myself, and I had it basically figured out. I looked online and uh, had a little bit more uh, understanding how it went together, which I recommend you do. Um, I'm not going to leave a link. You can find it if you really need to. Um, but the thing is, after building this and then going and building, well, I built the rocket boost, the, the boosters next. I'm like It feels like very different design philosophy in this very different and the same goes for the arms um though the designs are definitely interesting this one these are very complex well this simple like i said they came up with some simple solutions which isn't a bad thing um but simple solutions for for building some of the the torso parts and i definitely felt different between the two well, I, like I said, looked up some more information on this, and it would seem that these are shrunken down versions of, and slightly altered, so that they would fit on here. 
but shrunken down versions of Bandai kits. Uh, parts of Bandai kits, which I find that interesting. And that's what I was seeing in it, because like, I had problems with these hinges, and I'm like, if these were Bandai hinges, these would work much better. And, uh, which would probably have been true. Uh, part of the problem was the shrinking of the, the parts. These are both uh, originally 1100 scale, while this guy, or er, yeah, 1100 scale, while this guy is 1144 scale. Um, so definitely a different scale, and they definitely shrunk it down, considering, and even when you're building the arm things, there's a lot of little fiddly things that are just kind of floating out here, and look like they should be attached to something. I think originally they were, when they altered this to make it to simplify it, they uh, didn't bother attaching them on because in some aspects it didn't really need to um, to get it to function. And I, I do give them props for altering because these are altered a little bit so they would work with this guy. Um, but that's where this is a third party kit where they've actually taken stuff from something else to design this kit. And from what I hear, even this girl is from something else as well. Um, I think it's clever how they've integrated everything together. But yeah, it's, it's very different. And also, you put the big arms on the girls, but you don't use the shoulders. The, use uh, something else on here. I don't, I'm not sure. I didn't actually put them on, but I just glancing at the instructions and noticed that. So that's interesting. And it's also interesting that you can have both the big arms and the boost peg on here at the same time like I said makes them a kind of heavy although if you pose the rocket right you kind of can lean on that um but yeah both of these stand pretty good the only reason i have her sitting on a, a stand right now is because this is very kind of uneven and uh, i was having problems getting her to st stand right and wasn't didn't feel like messing around with her too much though i still had some problems um but yeah, um, the design here is interesting, but it's also not their design, some of it. I mean, I'll give them props for altering it. And then there's all the other problems I've had with the assembly. So, the yeah, wishy-washy design. <laughs> um, anyways, my overall average I gave this ended up being a 7.5. Um, definitely not top of the line or anything. And as I said... Don't go in this as a beginner. I feel like some of the mistakes here might have actually been made by me as a beginner. One reason why I had such a problem getting it done. Although I'm not sure about these hands. I'm really confused about that. Um, but yeah, don't go in and don't do, don't go into this uh, as a newbie. Also, if you're not familiar, you're more used to just snap builds and not going. I wouldn't recommend this too much until you got some glue experience um, under your belt, which I've done a little bit here and there. Um, although I didn't do a lot of gluing on this. I've got to go back over it and do it. I don't know when I'm busy making videos. I want to actually move on to this model and put something easier together. Uh, the price point of this, it is, a, well, I got this for around 40 bucks. Maybe it's between 40 and 50. Um, but for, uh, uh, other than 30 Minute Sisters, which are pretty good price, this is pretty cheap. And you actually do get a lot here. It's a lot of parts and a lot of things to get here. Um, so, you know, the price isn't terrible for what you're going to get. You're going to struggle with this, though, if you're a newbie or not familiar with the glue or not the best some of this stuff. So... Definitely don't recommend that to those people. Um, hopefully you can make a judgment call on this. I'm not going to recommend this at all. Um, I, I gave it a rating of 7.5. and I don't know, that may have been a little too generous. Um, but I, I, th I thought overall it looked, most of this looks good. I like the the, the girl, uh, the faces, even the, the printing on the, on the girl. So it's not like this is terrible, but... Uh, your mileage may definitely vary with this one. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this down in the description. Um, thoughts, questions, uh, 
anything like that. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, and if you're new here or have not yet, please subscribe. We're slowly inching up. We've gotten past 300. Um, now that I got this done, maybe I can think about actually doing something for a, a live uh, stream, which is this has been in the back of my brain and frustrated because I was hoping to have this done in like two weeks and it got stretched out. Of course, some of that was a, a vacation and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, that's pretty much it for me here at the Creation Evaluation Station. Glad to have this kit done and ready to move on. And here I am reminding you that creativity is key.